Tessa Brewer, you know, like sitting at the kids table 50 years ago, it seems Sarah Palin is being welcomed to the dinner, but the Republican grown-ups want her to be seen and not heard. Event organizers for tonight's fundraising gala reportedly don't want Palin to upstage possible presidential hopeful Newt Gingrich. He's the keynote speaker. Organizers say they had asked Palin, but then they didn't think that she had accepted the invitation to speak. The National Republican Senatorial Committee insists Palin was never uninvited. Instead, the committee says Palin was told, hey, if you're going to be in town, sure, drop on by, but the, well, I don't know, is this a snub to Sarah Palin or is this just, we gave you your opportunity, you said no, and so have a good time at the table. Yeah, Contessa, I like your parallel uh, as far as the, the kids' table and seen and not heard. It's great, uh, great imagery. Uh, look, I think this was a snub. Uh, the first invitation back in March, there was clearly miscommunication on the Palin side of things, but once the, the National Republicans uh, got wind of the fact that she was going to be in the lower 48, was going to be on the East Coast, they extended an invitation to her to come and speak. Now, it, yes, was a snub when on Saturday night one of her aides got a phone call saying she can still come but she can't speak. And the reason why is Pete Sessions, the chairman of the NRCC, that the House Campaign Committee, does not want to upstage Newt, who was the fill-in after Palin ditched them back in March in the first place. So it's sort of a tangled web here, but I think in this case uh, it's, it's not Palin to blame. She was happy to show up, but she wound up being snubbed. Okay, now to the snub. How yes. is that a snub if you're invited and you did not say yes to right. speaking at the event in the first place right. and now they've picked someone else to speak right. and so they're at yes please come but uh, we replaced well you. it's a snub because she was first invited to come and speak and then she was told that she couldn't speak so I think that is, is, is there in the snub when you're told by one person that you can come and speak and then days later you're, you're told that you can come but you can't speak So she didn't turn it down she didn't turn down the invitation to speak no, she accepted it, actually, and she was planning on being here in Washington tonight uh, until, again, that phone call came to her staff around Saturday night saying, you can come, but you can't speak now. Hey, Jonathan, what yeah. does this say about where the Republican Party is headed for 2012? I mean, are they <laughs> putting their eggs in... Newt Gingrich's basket? No, I, they're not putting any eggs in any baskets. It's June of, of 2009. It's never too early. I've, look, I work for Politico. I, I couldn't agree more. I love speculation about future campaigns, but uh, it's still a long ways away, and the fact is a lot can happen between now and next year, now in 2011, and now in 2012. So who knows, uh, Contessa, who's going to be in the mix down the road? It's possible that it could be Palin and Speaker yeah. Gingrich. We just don't know. It's too soon, but certainly right now, this is is indicative of the problem that the GOP has let's, right now. Let's start an office pool so that at least somebody can make some money off of it. <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan, good to see you. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Contessa. Hey, we're just getting some new pictures in. Sonia Sotomayor, the nominee for the Supreme Court. There she is on crutches on Capitol